good morning students uh today is our first class of object oriented programming with c++ so before starting this c++ let me introduce myself uh i am pankaj kumar uh, having around 15 year of experience uh 6 to 7 years in industry as well as 7 to 8 years of experience in educational institutions So I've worked for various organizations like NIT Limited, SCL Technology. Uh, I have worked for foreign university also. So recently I have joined Graphic Era University in the uh, six seven months before. So I am going to take your lecture of object oriented programming with C plus plus and hope you all will enjoy. So what is C plus plus? and uh, who has written c++ what is the history of c++ uh, why c++ get introduced is c++ something common uh, like c language is there uh, some differences of c and c c++ so we have to discuss a lot of things slowly and slowly and we we'll learn all the things so c++ is a multi paradigm programming language that supports object oriented program so you have seen the title that was written that c++ is a object oriented programming language so definitely it supports the concept of object oriented programming and it is written by bazarne stroestrup in 83s at bell laboratory usa it is an extension of as you are seeing that its name is c++ so you are looking it's a post increment i must i'm sure that you have studied pre increment post increment in c language so you are looking that is a post increment c++ so there is something addition in c language so what is the addition actually object oriented concept has been added here now c++ is an extension of c programming language and can run by using a c++ compiler The development of C++ actually begins four years before its release. That is, in 1979, it didn't 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 start with the name C++. Earlier, it was known as C with classes. So, actually, the all concept of C language, including the concept of class, which is added in C language, so it has been given a name C with classes. But later on, 1983s, C with classes. has been renamed as a c++ so now there is a there is a uh, thing from where class concept has been taken so there was a language uh simula 67 so simula 67 was a language from which the concept of class has been uh, introduced in c and then it's become c++ it is of course also used in a wide range of other application domain notable graphic programming c++ supports inheritance lot of things lot of things will learn about object oriented programming and uh, many more thing so first i am leaving everything of you are uh, definitely not known about object oriented concept you are unaware about uh, inheritance you are unaware about classes so don't worry I, just just forget that what is object oriented programming just recall what was c so i am sure that you all must have remember the c programming language isn't it so let me let me compare a, a small c and c++ program which is printing just a hello on your output screen so forget about c++ just we are considering here c language and you are looking in c what you write has include stdio.h then you write void mean then you write curly braces then you write print f so uh you must have remember what print f does whatever you write inside the double quote will be printed as it is you also know that in c every statement gets terminated with a semicolon so here i have given a semicolon also and then the curly brace is closed now if you are you going to use a c++ program to print a hello what are the changes you need to do the rest is remain same 
So first of all, you have to use has include instead of stdiu.h. You have to use iostream.h. IO stands for input output stream. Void main or int main will remain same. Curly braces will remain same. In C++ also every line of code gets terminated with a semicolon and you need to use C out instead of printf statement. Then you have to use two times less than symbol. So C out two times less than symbol and for now you just need to remember this C out and two times less than symbol is very similar with printf statement what printf does the same c out does and whatever you will write in double quote will be printed as it is so the c if you will compare c and c plus plus maximum things all the things used in c definitely supported in c plus plus also now if you are using multiple line output in c so i have written here printf hello printf how are you how the output will come i am sure you all know that how are you will be printed just after hello in the same line same thing if you are using c plus plus you are using hello and how are you the how are you will be printed just after hello now if i want to print this how are you after hello what to do in c you have used escape characters, escape sequences, slash n, slash t, slash b, slash a. So these all escape characters, escape sequences is used in C++ also. So this escape sequence like slash a that is used for alert, slash b is used for backspace, slash t is used for horizontal tab, slash n is used for new line, slash v for vertical tab, slash r for carriage return so this is all you can use in c plus plus also so like this so you i just want to print how are you just after hello i can use hello and then in how are you i have used slash n so this slash n you can also use after hello and the working working will remain same like c so not only slash n you can use uh, every escape sequences what we have seen in the previous slide in C++ also. So I, I would like to request all of you that please use all the escape characters what you have used in C language that all will work in C++ also. Now, uh, if you are going to use an online C++ compiler, whatever the code you have written in previous slide will not work. So that code will work in Turbo C++. So why that code will not work? The reason is some syntax changes in ANSI C++. ANSI stands for American National Standard Institute C++ first program that we are going to see. So if you are going to use that online C++ compiler or ANSI C++ compiler, the code is slight change that you need to remember. Instead of writing iostream.h, you need to use IO stream. Then int main or void main as per your requirement. And then instead of just writing C out two times a small than, a smaller than symbol, you just need to write std colon colon then C out two times less than symbol and then hello world. And the rest is remain same. Now the question arises: what is this std colon colon? This std is known as namespace now what is namespace so new concept got introduced about namespace we need to know what is this namespace actually namespace is nothing but a collection of classes now again the concept of class came here forget about class so let me tell you about namespace namespace is a feature added in c++ that was not present in c language a namespace is a declarative reason that provide a scope to the identifier like name of the types functions variables inside it so inside namespace we can define multiple functions multiple class multiple variables etc etc 
multiple namespace blocks with the same name are allowed all declaration within those block are declared in the same namespace so uh, let me show you the use of using keyword so if you are going to use a using keyword you do not need to write that std colon colon every time with c out statement so once you have declared this using keyword at the beginning of the program then your namespace has been declared at the beginning of the program so by using a using keyword we can declare our namespace at the beginning of my program so what is the syntax of using that using keyword the syntax is using namespace and then the name of namespace so what was the name of namespace that was std so first i have written has include io stream and then i have written using namespace std now you are looking with the out statement i have not used std colon colon so every time you are going to use see out statement let's suppose the program is a, a very large and you have used a hundred of times see out statement so you do not need to require write std colon colon every time so once you have declared your namespace at the beginning of the program then you do not need to use that namespace name dot colon colon see out statement uh, just you have declared once and then that namespace will can be accessed anywhere in the program so uh, I'm not going to discuss too much about the C++ today. Today is the first class and I want you do not take it as a panic. Believe me, this is a very simple language. This is a very simple language. If you are aware about C programming, that is very simple, very simple in comparison of C language. So what I would like to request all of you that please uh, create some small, small programs in uh, by using online C compiler or in, uh, you know, by using any turbo c compiler c++ compiler or any other compiler write some programs to just print hello to print greetings to use escape characters like slash n slash t slash b and uh you know to uh just for practice it i i, I would like to say you every one of you that please practice it how much you will practice the programming will automatically becomes easier for you so thank you very much. Thank you very much for the first session, for listening to me carefully and patiencefully. So we'll meet again in the next class, what we have scheduled in the timetable. So again, I would like to say you thank you very much. Thanks.